to like and subscribe and let's just hop straight into it. First off, we're going to talk about the settings of the op in order to use it in the most efficient manner. So if you go into your settings menu, go to controls and go to equipment, here's where we will be changing settings. So for aim down sights, I have this on hold. This doesn't affect your op, but this affects other guns. This means when you aim down sights, you're going to have to hold down right mouse button instead of just clicking it. For sniper rifle aim though, I have toggle. Now what this does, this means that when you click it, it's going to stay there. My right mouse button is not pressed down right now, and if I click it again, it zooms in. That setting is the cycle operator zoom. I have this on, on cycle, and then auto reenter scope on. This means whenever I shoot, I'm not even touching my mouse, and it just automatically rescopes right there for me. So these are the best settings that you can possibly have for this. That way you can peek corners, you can zoom in, zoom back out and then run away, do whatever. You don't have to be holding down on the right mouse button the entire time, which is super useful. And then another thing, I see a lot of players that like are holding an angle like this and then are trying to get out of their scope so they click it twice to get out. Instead of that, if you're trying to get out of your scope quickly, I recommend you to click three and then one very quickly. So let's say you're here, you know that the other team is going to a different bomb site. If you click three then one, it actually goes to your knife then back to the op super fast so that it unscopes it and then you can run away you're gonna do this with any gun you could just click three and go to your knife but either way going to your knife is going to be the fastest way to get out of the op scope after that now to practice your aim with the op this is a little more difficult personally i like just practicing flicks because holding an angle is more reaction time than anything so to practice flicks if we click f3 we see our settings i keep it all on the basic settings because easy seems to be the best speed for this you just click this start button right here. I like to back up, scope in, and then get ready. You just gotta flick right onto them as quick as you can and try and hit as many shots as you possibly can. Now, obviously you're not gonna hit every shot. If you're good, you might, but um, just keep on practicing this. Go for the flicks, keep your crosshair here in the middle, and then flick over them. This will help you get better at like flicking over to the enemies instead of just whenever an enemy like crosses over or something, say you're holding this again, they cross over and you're not ready for it, you're able to flick right on over onto them way faster. Another thing I'm about to explain is this picture that's on screen right here. Now, if we look at this picture, we see exactly what it says. You can see that holding an angle from far away is way better than holding an angle close up. This is for a lot of different reasons. One, just because of how the game mechanics work, you can see the player's shoulders before you can actually see their head. And sometimes they cannot even see you. So here player A has an advantage over player B because player A is further from the angle than player B. Now you can translate this into your op skills because if you hold angles further back, you're going to be seeing the opponent quicker than when the opponent sees you. And obviously if you see them faster, you're going to have more time to react and to get that kill, which is going to help you out a ton. Another thing is with the economy in this game, buying an op is a little different than some other tactical shooters on the market right now. Whenever you buy an op, you most likely are going to be on a full team buy and you're going to want to have over 5,500 credits because you want to have armor. Being able to get one tap by a pistol with an op is a not good trade. If they have, for instance, sheriffs or ghosts and they one tap you while you have an op, you just lost out on $4,500 to a gun that cost $500. So you really wanna make sure that you have that armor so that you don't just insta-die to some of the weaker guns in the game. And it also just helps you survive way, way longer. There are some situations where if your team needs an opper, you could buy one at like 4,500 credits and just have the op. It could work, but most of the time you're going to want to just hold on to that 5,500 credits and get the op then with your team. If you buy an op alone and none of your team buys, that's also a very bad thing for your entire team mechanic because then your economy is going to be messed up compared to theirs and also you're going to be the only one with a gun so your odds of winning that round just aren't that high and you want to have high odds of winning whenever you spend that much money. One more final tip for the operator is after you shoot. After you shoot this operator, fall back to a new angle. Don't repeat the same angles over and over again. I see so many people that op that are holding this angle they get a kill and then they sit there and they keep holding this angle or they're holding the angle, they miss their shot, but they keep holding that same angle. If the other team knows where you are, you have a way higher chance of dying with this op. They can come around the corner, pre-fire the angle and you are instantly dead. 
What you should be doing is holding different angles every round, say you're defending, you want to be holding a different angle to watch it every single round so they can't expect it, and then after you shoot, no matter if you get the kill or not, fall back, reposition yourself to a new angle, and then peek a different angle. They're going to be watching the one that you peek over and over again, so if you move to a different one, they're not going to be staring straight at your head whenever you actually peek out to try and get the kill. If you hold the same angle, you will die so much more. And also, make sure you have all of your flanks and sides covered. For instance, on Haven's C site, there's the garage that the other team can come from. If you're vulnerable to garage, make sure you have a teammate watching it or a troop wire down there, something to make sure that you're not just going to get pushed and killed very easily from that angle. You want to have a lot of awareness while opping, and you also have to have the concentration and patience in order to hold an angle. If you're holding C long like we were just talking about, you have to have so much patience because in this game, sometimes teams will wait a minute and spawn, just waiting for you to make a mistake, and you have to sit there and be ready for them to come. One little tip for this that you might not like is to stay hydrated. Honestly, it actually does help. Drink water a lot and it'll just help you kind of stay more clear and able to focus more. It helps me personally. Let me know down below if it helps you as well or if that's just a me thing, but I'm pretty sure that that should help you. Make sure you're hydrated, make sure you're healthy, and just keep your focus on your crosshair. Make sure you can see whenever they come because I promise you the second you look away, the second that you look to your other monitor or you look to, you know, garage or whatever you're looking at, that is when the other team is going to peak. It happens so, so much. The timing is always there and then they end up getting the kill. So make sure you have all of that set up. I hope that this video did help you. If it did, feel free to drop a like, comment down below because I reply to every single freaking comment and also subscribe if you do enjoy the daily Valorant content.